Race 23, the Florence Knightley Guild Chase, Grade 3, Four Mile 3, Cap Memorial, unbeaten Neil Man Mesby, 1 from 1, France, Matt Cooper, Lottery, John Morgan, National Prince, Joshua Sutherland, Dress Green, Green, James Shea, Frozen Oak, Darren Thompson, Shona Fabiola, Davy Ladd, and I think that was something ill, wasn't it? Yes, it was Stan Palander, ill for John Morgan as well. John has two in the field. One will definitely be a front runner. This is the four mile free Florence Knight and Gale Chase, a grade three. A prep race for probably the Liam on Mainsburg grade one at the Cheltenham Festival, but a bit longer. And of course, we'll probably take the chances in the Grand National. If you expect these horses taking on this grade three so early in the season, will be rated. Ailey, um, the one that already is at 150 is S S Stamperland Ill. He's already weighted 150. And the trouble is, he makes a pass of the national, and all these are waiting at 150, 160. There's so many out of the handicap come national day, but that's the way it is, unless you. When you're winning great fees this early in the season. Stamp Land Hill leads by a length from in second place is Compatriot Lottery. Information from John Morgan. Thank you, John. Full of information is old John. First lot, first Grand National winner, Lottery. He's the first ever Grand National winner. Well, I don't remember it. Back in for Cap Memorial. Cap Memorial is the other one, along with Stamperland Hill, are both one on the, both their runs. And one each. National Prince says it in the name. I expect Josh burden for national duty. Shona Firola tracks these frozen up. That pair of France. And dressed green. Is the bat marker for John James Shea, of course. Trained a very young horse to win the national quite a few years ago. Now, I think he was either six or seven, wasn't he, James, when he won the national? Blue, everybody's in mind that a six or seven year old could win the grand national. And James has been and done it with a young horse, usually one of nine or ten in SO8. Lottery leads from Stampland Hill in second. Camp Memorial back in third. Begin nine or ten year old Nat or National Princess. He's nine. She's about the right age as is Lottery. And Stampland Hill. And that says a lot. If those three two trainers, John Morgan, who's got two at nine, and Joss has got one at nine, it says what they think. That you need to be a nine-year-old to go. The further they are in the league, the further you go, the older the horse may be. Like the Grand National need to be these days in SO8. Maybe in SO7, I think. Maybe that's been James when it was SO7, maybe the last season, I don't know, was, you know, different. But SO8, I think it might be, you have to be nine or ten to really. Have a great chance in the national. I jump the next. So Camp Memorial. It was a youngster at eight. Shona Fial Roller eight. James Shea's dress green is eight. And France on the bottom there. Matt Cooper is also eight. Goes to Nope is nine now. So Darren Thompson. Also pink the nine year old do best for the longer longer distance you go. So any uh budding trainer look at the top boys and they give you an hint what you need for long distance races. You need a B9 or a ball. Got an expense and lottery jump to through past the stable mate Stamperland Hill. National Prince is in third on the Cap Memorial on the inside in fourth, and then comes Shinola Fibiola. 
frozen up, jump in the ditch, good jump by Dress Green, gained a bit of ground there, half a length or so, and France is about three or four lengths off him, for Mark Cooper, France is down to a rate in the 100, maybe see him in the Inter chases soon, or longer distance in the Inter chases. I want his rate at under at the moment, it's lottery of course, this is his debut. So he won't be rated under after the day, I doubt. Lottery jumps next. Oh, there's Stamper Hill Land. Sorry, Stamper Land Hill has unshifted his ride and has fallen. And that's. Well, Joe Morgan's when there's out of the race as Lottery leads by two lanes from Cap Memorial in second. Now the unchipped horse is on the inside, so it's the length to the third horse, which is uh, frozen up on the inside of National Prince. They jump in this one, two lanes back then to Soon up for Viola and dress green and the further four are back to France. Still one more a half plus the run. Lottery still leading by two now. They jump the next. Cap Memory jump well in second. Inside in third is frozen up. Nasty Prince is on the outside. And behind these comes Dress Green, and then she'll know that, show that Fabiola, France, that marker. They jump to that one. And Lottery leads by a length. Cap Memorial in second. Closing up to Lemp's way in third. On the inside, on the outside, is Nastal Prince. Oh, no, he didn't even go out, lift his feet up. They shown the Fabiola and smashed it into the bottom of the fence. He might have uh, either slipped just before they'd taken off, because he just didn't get over the other side. And he's gone for Davy Lard. Lottery's been left to Lems, still in the lead to Lems clear. He wasn't left in the lead because uh, Sean Riola was back in the field. Uh, Lottery leads by two, they jump the next. A big slow jump in second by Cap Memorial, and because of that, Frozen Up jumped upside and probably just edge in second now. Nasty Prince is just cantering behind them. The jockey's giving him a tug back in fifth dress, going and Francis slowly but surely losing more ground at the rear of the field. And it looks like he's uh, not going to play a part in the finish. He's not been ridden along and giving a shake up with the jockey with no response at the moment they jump the next and still in front is lottery but frozen open has decided to come and close him down in second two lengths clear cap memorial is giving a little bit of ride in third national prince uh, looking for just making himself a bit of groom there in fourth and coming in between him and dress green and they france is about eight lengths off from now they swing him back they only got Two left to jump, I believe, and uh, Frozen Hope is leading. Down towards the next, now two to be clear. Lot a lottery looks to be under pressure. Oh, he made a mistake in front, and he's come back to him now. And no cap memorials moved into the second. Lottery coming on the ride in third and is fading as National Prince makes ground. And these are couplings clear of the dress green in fourth. And France is out of sight. They jump the ditch, and this is the second last. And there is France, he's over it. And it's frozen. Hope is still leading by two from Cap Memorial and National Prince. They're both trying to close on him. Lottery is a bit, more, bit one pace in for four places, three or four lengths off him now. But he's still dressed green to head down flat. Down the stretch, sorry, well, one left to jump. Frozen up. Can he hold on? Cap Memorial in second. National Prince on the outside. They're both coming on the ride. They're both trying to challenge the leader. They could be on the jump now. They head towards his final fence as they come into it oh he made a mistake in front for his not that's cost him and now cap memory goes on leads by three quarter length from his second place national prince these two are uh, couple and clear frozen up lotteries running on the game but towards like national prince strikes at home and he goes on and cozy in the end goes on by a length maybe two 
and he's going to quite goes in there, Nasto Prince, he's won it really well in the end from Captain Wall in second, fills it up just along for the lottery, dress grained, and I think France has pulled up out of sight. But no doubt about the winner, Joshua Sutherland and Nasto Prince from Cap Memorial, Leo Mountsburg. Second, frozen up Darwin Thompson, third, John Morgan, lottery fourth, and James Shea, fifth.